Hi everyone, I'm Ellie and welcome back to Tech Tricks channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this data entry form in Google Sheets. With this data entry form, you can save an item based on the category to the related sheet. You can also search for an item through multiple sheets. Okay, let's get started. Today I'll show you how to create a dynamic data entry form in Google Sheets. With this form, when you add a new entry and click the Save button, the data will automatically be saved to the appropriate sheet based on the selected category. Additionally, you can search for a device by its ID using the Search button. And if there are multiple items with the same ID, they will be displayed in the corresponding column. There is also a Reset button to clear the form, making it ready, for the next entry. Okay, let's get started. First, let's set up our Google Sheets. Open Google Sheets and create a new blank spreadsheet. Rename the first sheet to Form. Then add four new sheets and rename them to Computing Devices, Mobile Devices, Audio Devices, and Gadgets and Accessories. Next, we'll design the form sheet. We we'll start by creating the data entry form for submitting new items and apply some formatting. Now let's create a drop down menu for the device type. Select the cell where the category will be entered. Go to the data, data validation, and then add a rule. Set criteria to drop down and enter the following options computing device. Mobile device, audio device, gadget or accessory. Click Save. The first part of our form is now ready. Next, we'll create a form for searching an item based on its ID and apply some formatting to it as well. Alright, both forms are ready. Now we need to add three buttons. One for searching, one for saving, and one for resetting. To create the buttons, go to the Insert tab and select Drawing. Use the Drawing tools to create a button labeled Search. Once you're satisfied with the design, click Save and Close. Repeat this process to create the other two buttons, labeling them Save and Reset respectively. Alright, form sheets with the Search, Save and Reset buttons are ready. Now it's time to type the code and assign each button to the related code. For typing the code, I'll go to the extension tab, App Script. Alright, I'll type the code and then explain it to you. The first step is accessing the spreadsheet and form sheet. This line retrieves the active spreadsheet. The next one gets the sheet named form. And the third fetches the value from cell D16, which we assume holds the category of the item. The next step is validating the category. This checks if the sheet corresponding to the category exists. If not, it shows an alert and it stops the function. 
Following step is preparing for data submission. Data sheet is assigned to the sheet of the specified category, and if the category field is blank, it shows an alert. A confirmation dialog is shown, and if the user clicks no, the function stops. The next step is inserting data into the appropriate sheet. Blank row identifies the next available row in the category sheet. The form values from specific cells are inserted into the corresponding columns of the new row. Now, clearing the form fields. After submission, the form fields are cleared to make them ready for the next entry. A confirmation alert is also shown. Now I click on Save icon. Now I copy the function name. I go to the sheet and click on these three dots to assign the Save button to the function. Now I paste the function name and Save. Now let's look at the Reset Data function which clears all the form fields. Function to reset the form. This function clears the specified ranges in the form sheet and confirmation alert is shown after the reset. Again, I copy the function name, I go to the sheet and click on these three dots to assign the reset button to the function. Now I paste the function name and save. Finally, let's explore the search function, which searches for a device by ID across different category sheets. This function retrieves the search string from H3 to I5 and searches for it in the specified category sheets. If a match is found, this function is called to display the data. Now this function sets the values of the found row in the specified columns of the form sheet. And this function clears the content of the next columns if no match is found. Now at the end, I copy the function name, I go to the sheet, and click on these three dots to assign the search button to the function. I paste the function name and save. You can find the link to the script in the sheet in the description. Alright, the sheet is ready. Let's test it. First, I enter a new item and choose a category for that. And I click on Save button. As you see, the item is added to the related sheet. Now I enter several devices with the same ID numbers to test the search button. Ok, let's check it. As you can see, all items with the same IDs displayed in the form. You can find the link to the script and the sheet in the description. Ok, my tutorial finished and you learned how to create a data entry form with multiple sheets in Google Sheets. For the next, I suggest you to watch this tutorial that will improve your skills in Google Sheets. If you need any kind of form or if you have any question, please ask me in the comments and I will answer all of them. If you found this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you are not subscribed yet. Thanks for watching, have a good time.